This is probably the fourth time that I've tried to record this because I do feel like we need to discuss this issue that has been happening for so many years right now. <music> souls and welcome back to the channel i'm shika your conscious mentor and on this channel we talk about all things spirituality wellness entrepreneurship and social media today we're going to be going into a deep conversation a deep discussion from a point of being conscious souls that we are and it's talking about the fastest way to manifest black lives matter yes black lives matter because this has been an issue that's been happening for so long yet we still have people being killed, people being discriminated for, and you know, just as a as a person of a minority, person of color, I can definitely say that the issues are still happening everywhere, not just in the States, everywhere. I live, born, raised in Canada, and it's definitely been an issue that I've had. I had to move from four different schools because of my race. Um, I've had issues and comments that have been done in the past, and I think it's just a great way to come from a place of good energy and various other tips on how we can help manifest that black lives matter and how we can manifest that all lives matter, that all humans matter. And this shouldn't be an issue that we still arise with and still face with in 2020. So our whole world is going through an energetic change right now, an energetic shift. And no matter what's gonna happen, thin walls are happening. Walls are getting thinner because we're in this 5G dimension. And in doing so, we're starting to see a lot more of the dark that was always there and how it has really caused a lot of pain in our society. So I can't wait to deep dive into it. This is just a taste of what we're gonna go into today. This is Manifestation Mondays. So every Monday I do talk to you guys all about how to manifest, getting you excited about all these manifestations station stuff and stories and I actually have three amazing stories about how to manifest Black Lives Matter that I can't wait to share with you guys that I feel like the media is not showing and how much we can do on a bigger scale if we really just come into the space with love. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I do videos every single day for you beautiful souls. And today's subscriber of the day is Safia Lozano. Thank you so much for being part of this amazing family. And I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys. I've been enjoying our lives. I've been enjoying our videos and I do appreciate you. So let's get into the video. So this is actually a topic that was very hard for me to come up with and I just felt, you know, it's time. It's time that we talk. It's time that we get uncomfortable. And I've been getting people from different races as well just saying like, what do I do? So this video is for anyone, you know, regardless of where you stand in this whole experience of us living in 2020, right? And I really think that, again, like I said, we have had these issues for years. We've had these issues for so long. I talk a lot about this in my recent video on how to manifest love and less hate. So if you haven't gone and watched that, I'll link it up here for you guys. But really what it comes down to is us understanding that this has to stop. You know, it's gotten to the point that sometimes even me as a person, like a person of color, you know, feeling that you've done something wrong, even when you do see an officer, right? And it's just like, you didn't do anything wrong, but that feeling and that fear just because of the color of your skin or maybe regardless of what it is, but specifically the color of your skin or the way you look like, it makes it really hard. And it's even harder for, you know, black men as well too, because a lot of them are the ones that are getting the worst as well. I think women and men, but as we can see in the States, it's definitely been um, heavily on the men, which is not fair. So I want it to be a very light, exciting video. I just wanted to share that with you guys because, you know, coming from someone who is a POC, um, I want to share with you both the educational standpoint, but also some amazing stories. So let's start off with like some great stories. The first story that we have, and I actually found it on Twitter and it just made me smile so much. And what happened was it was during the protests in Minneapolis, there were a whole bunch of police officers that were kind of barricaded and you know making sure that they can protect the area against the protesters one of the officers actually got separated between the protesters and the police officers and the protesters were trying to attack um, in this specific situation the police officer and a whole bunch of other protesters actually created a barricade to protect the officer so this is a great
great example of how at the end of the day, we're all fighting for the same thing. We're fighting for love and each human, each one of us, regardless of race, color, age, whatever it is, that we're really coming down for love. We, we want to feel the sense of peace for every single one of us. And because we've had this time where we had to go so inwards for the past three years as a collective, as a global through this pandemic, I really do think that people are starting to wake up and really starting to notice that, hey, we are all so equal. We all have the same pains, just different stories. And it's time for things to change in this world. So there's definitely a shift of energy. We're rebirthing and taking out all of these bad apples that are happening in our society and really allowing ourselves to create this human connectiveness even though we're in this distance physically it's creating some more connection to us so great example of love and love that's really what we're fighting for here it's just the love for every person my second manifestation story actually came in with a police officer who was respectfully listening to all the protesters i believe this was in washington dc and um it was so beautiful to see because this woman was going to every single one of the protesters at the front and saying we're gonna do whatever we can in order for us to not have this issue again and this has gotten way out of hand. So just seeing her come in and just went through every single protester and just said, hey, we're gonna fix this. This is unexplainable. This is not acceptable. Um, this is not what, what any person should be going through at a time like this. So this is just a beautiful story that I felt was really great to share and the way that as a whole, we can manifest by listening in. And this is my second thing is learning to educate ourselves regardless of where you are white black whatever color you are it's really just allowing us to come together and collectively do it because this is an issue that we're all connected with even though you're not the person who has to feel like your life is jeopardized doesn't mean that you're not part of the problem and that's where it comes down to we're all so connected that i've noticed since those few days everyone's energy has been so low people have been feeling a lot more down and it's because we're all so connected and this is a great example like energetically if people are feeling great vibes and going to a group gathering then everyone feels excited but if there's that weird kind of uncomfortable feeling you've ever, ever gone to a party like that then everyone feels uncomfortable right so here we're really learning that this creation of energy vibration that we're so interconnected even though there's an issue happening all the way in minneapolis and i'm in canada i feel still affected because it brings me back to that little girl who every kid used to play with my hair and say like why does it feel like that and why do you have this color on your skin and, and making fun of me and sitting in the back because my hair was too distractive and i couldn't sit in the front those stories come up and i know for all you pocs you guys also have the exact same experience and that is okay so here is a time for us to feel to release and i want to talk to both groups here as a poc i want you guys to be able to feel feel what you need to feel feel the experiences feel the emotions that you want to because you need to honor those emotions and they are not to be disregarded for people who aren't pocs it's an opportunity for you to educate yourself on what the pains we've been going through for many years how history has repeated itself because we've disregarded the pain in such a masculine energetic world and how we need to rebirth ourselves because this is the face of humanity this is for the life of humanity so really that's where it comes down to where i love this story so much is it's really teaching us that we can educate ourselves no matter what side of what area or what position we are in this space Number three my last story before i get into the tips on how we can manifest black lives matter faster is really talking about the police um hugging a protester a protester made a very emotional speech and was crying and this police officer held her and gave her comfort at this time showing a sense of love at the end of the day this right here is where we're gonna heal this world this heart this bond, this, the way that we see ourselves in society and the way that we love ourselves is what we do. And if two people can come together, even though they are fighting for, you know, the same cause on different oppositional kind of sides, that's where it comes down to. That's where we find the inner peace for everyone. We're able to embrace each other and kind of really solve and create not only an impact between the two, but everyone that was in that protest and everyone that saw that picture. My heart felt so full seeing this picture that I just felt like, man, 
we we can do it we can get to that point where we can manifest that black lives matter after so many years and ages of slavery discrimination segregation all the pain that we have i talk about this quite a bit but guys like it's not only our pain it's our ancestors pain too you know what i mean like that's what creates traditions is we've created this tradition of a system that has really caused itself to manifest more and more hate more and more hate crime and discriminatory crime as well so if we're able to remove that and completely release it in a space where all of us can surrender and forgive ourselves we're going to be able to bring in that love energy that the world really needs and that's what i've been really meditating on the past few days is meditating on just giving love for everyone no matter what position they are in the space and really allowing them to know that you know that's where it comes down to you're human i'm a human we're all human in this world the only difference is one feels like they're above the other and that's where we need to see each other as an equal i put in three simple ways that you can help manifest black lives matter at this time in the future and just continue to have this so we can really remove the historical just issues and problems and pains that we've been having through our ancestors through presently and for the future as well so the first thing is educate educate ourselves as someone who is a poc educate how we can use our platforms i've been using my social media to really share people the incidents not only in the states but also in canada and other places too it's not just an issue that's happening in the states as well so educate you know and if you are someone who isn't a poc like educate yourself on how you can use your privilege to educate other people who might still be in that frame of you know educating and not wanting to not wanting to learn you know what i mean and it sounds so bad but that's what we've gone to it's gotten to the point that having a certain group of people use their privilege when realistic where realistically where it comes down to is all perception right it's our perception of how we should listen to one person and the other but if we were able to remove that completely heal that and forgive ourselves and just look at each person having their opinions and understanding how can i educate myself so i can really benefit and help humanity as a whole that's going to help the pain so much more it's just understanding through education understanding both parts of it and seeing where we lie and what we can do because silence is not the solution number two is love like i said love is so unconditional it's the only emotion that truly lies within our humanity everything else is done through pain it's the pain of expressions pain of hatred pain of you know anger sadness that's what really comes into the issues that humans experience so it's understanding you know how can we relieve ourselves from that pain and live the life that we actually want and we desire so loving ourselves creating that creating affirmations of love i always actually visualize giving love to the world through my meditation this is a great thing that i would suggest for you guys sending love and light to the world i might even do a meditation this week for black lives matter that we can do as a collective and i think it would be really great to do is just meditating so let me know down below if you guys would like that give this video a thumbs up so i know but i really just want us to use our platform as a, as a collective and support each other because that's what the world needs right now number three is support find ways to support you know businesses companies entrepreneurs of poc find ways to you know listen and just go and reach out do i have any friends family or people that i know who are part of poc and see how they're doing because we are reliving our emotions we are reliving all of those ancestral experiences and personal experiences that we've had for years over the past few days and we keep reliving it every time we find out that someone is being discriminated by based on their skin when we are just all human right so we need to manifest more love for humanity for black lives matter by allowing ourselves to create a statement and supporting one another so support be there unconditionally I want you to just kind of go inwards and ask yourself how can i support the community and make sure that i'm doing my best to bring in love to educate myself and to understand that i am connected i am equal to when i see a tree when i see a person i see them as an equal i see them as we are connected we might not know that yet but we're all human so asking myself how can i connect deeper with that person how could i go deeper into releasing and feeling what they're doing so i can know hey I don't know what you've been through. I've never been discriminated by through my skin, but I can definitely understand where you're coming from and I know it's wrong, right? So silence is definitely not the key in this place and supporting is the best way to do it. If you don't know how to, there's so many ways that you can and that's just by simply talking about how it's not right to do what it is that's going on right now. So 
I hope you like this video. This video is a little bit of a bit of both. It was an uncomfortable video, but sometimes we need to get into our uncomfortability for us to educate the world. I want you guys to really just take away that we are all human. And this has been happening for way too long. Not only discrimination from Black Lives Matter, but to Aboriginals, to people of Asian descent, other you know POCs. And I just think that it's so important that right now we don't repeat history. Don't we don't repeat the same headlines, the same revolutions of issues that have been happening for civil rights for years. And it's time for us to wake up and manifest love. We need this at the time of rebirthing of this world. Love, 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 love is all that we need. I keep saying this in our last video. Love is truly all that we need to manifest in this world to heal it. And it's been a long time running. So I know you conscious beings are going to do exactly that. I want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. You are already doing all those three steps that I shared with you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I do videos every single day for you beautiful, amazing souls you are. And I want to just send you guys a lot of love, a lot of light, a lot of positivity. I love you. Send that love around and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.